Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss about thermodynamic potential. Potential means it has some ability to do something. It has some ability to do some work. There are various thermodynamic potential. One is the internal energy. Second is enthalpy. Third is Helmholtz free energy. And the fourth one is Gibbs free energy. These are four thermodynamic potential internal energy, enthalpy, Helmholtz free energy, and Gibbs free energy. I have written the equation of Helmholtz free energy that is A equal to U minus Ts in case of G, Gibbs free energy that is H minus Ts. What is U? It is an internal energy, energy needed to create a system. Means if we talk about internal energy, it's like uh, the kinetic and potential energy of molecule, how like rotational energy, vibrational energy of molecules. So that is the total ener energy. If, if we consider microscopic view, internal energy, how it can be thermodynamic potential. If we talk about first law of thermodynamics, that is delta U equal to Q minus W, if the system is an adiabatic, then this will be zero, W equal to minus delta U. The meaning is internal energy has some ability to do some work. That's why it is thermodynamic potential. Okay, what about enthalpy? Enthalpy is like energy required to create a system and energy needed to make room for it. Make room for it that is represented by this PV term. Means that if you are forcing something against the surrounding, like how much energy is required to force something. And that is also, we can consider this as a flow work. When any fluid is flowing, how it is forcing the other fluid element. So total Enthalpy definition is like energy required to create a system and also to make room for it. Okay, how it is thermodynamic potential? If we consider first law of thermodynamics for flow system, the equation would be, in this case also, if we consider adiabatic system, this will be zero. And that's why WS equal to minus delta H. Ultimately, the changes in enthalpy is equivalent to some work. That's why it is also thermodynamic potential. Okay. Third one is Helmholtz free energy that is defined by U minus TS. U is already thermodynamic potential. So here I can define Helmholtz free energy is like maximum work that can be obtained when a system is interacting with surrounding. This is representing, it is represented by a term energy transfer with environment. Means that your system and surroundings both are interacting. And that is considered by this TS2. We all know that according to second law of thermodynamics, that is Q is equal to the T delta S. So here, Helmholtz free energy is like what is the amount of maximum work that can be obtained from a system that system is interacting with 
surrounding at constant temperature. Temperature is constant. That is Helmholtz free energy. But if we can talk about Gibbs free energy, that is again a free energy. It has some ability to do work. Here also, maximum work that can be obtained from steady state flow system. Here we are talking about flow because we the uh, enthalpy we have considered according to this equation, it is H minus T S. Maximum work that can be obtained from steady state flow system while this system is interacting with surrounding at constant temperature. The meaning is ultimate meaning is like you have some ability to do work from that energy you are you are going to uh, give some energy to surrounding so remove that part how much energy is free how much energy we can consider for the to produce work maximum amount of work here also gives where energy is like enthalpy minus ts enthalpy is it is uh, also one of the thermodynamic potentials and you uh, are considering that potential and minus the energy transfer between system and surrounding so this is also some amount of work can be obtainable other thing we are going to deal with Gibbs free energy while physicists will deal with Helmholtz free energy because this is considered in most of the cases when constant temperature and constant volume and this is, is considered when temperature is constant and pressure is constant. We are going to deal with Gibbs free energy. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.